I want to see this story. Two North Texas high schoolers, they're getting global attention tonight because they are first prize winners in one of the world's biggest science competitions. Tonight, our Aaron Jones introduces us to the inspiring students and their winning projects. Hi, my name is Sharia Bob from Plano, Texas. My name is Vivek Kogalathona. There's no question they're not your typical teens. This Plano ISD junior and Frisco ISD senior just returning home from one of the most prestigious competitions a high schooler can compete in. The Regeneron uh, International Science and Engineering Fair. From an early age, both students had an interest in innovation and are using that to take on real world problems they've encountered. A cousin of mine in rural South India, she had cystic fibrosis and she unfortunately succumbed to a biofilm infection. And in India, and especially rural India, they didn't have any resources or any medication to really assist her. For the past three years, Shreya Bhatt has been working to develop a treatment with natural ingredients, presenting her research this past week. But I essentially found that when the bacteria was treated with this therapy, it was able to inhibit the biofilm growth by nearly 80%. As for Vivek Kogi Lathoda, he's spent the last two years focusing on something so many teens experience, depression. I'm a pretty big user of social media, so when I see other teens, you know, um, being very, having a negative sentiment online, it can be very contagious, and it's kind of a, one of the reasons that I found that why the teen mental health crisis is so prevalent. He created the app I Ponder to help. And it can predict uh, the user's chance of having either depression, anxiety, or is on a suicide watch. Uh, it can be used uh, with another algorithm that I created that can use the numbers gained from the diagnostics to intelligently pair teens on the app for anonymous peer-based conversational therapies. Last week, both were recognized for their achievements, receiving first place in their categories and taking home $5,000 in prize money. It makes me feel ecstatic that there are, you know, scientists out there who recognize my work as a high school student and see that it has potential, um, but there definitely still is a lot more to be done. Both plan to use their prize money to continue their research and hope their stories inspire others to pursue STEM. All you need is something you're interested in and something that you're looking forward to finding. As long as you have that, the results will eventually show. Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.